Injury prevention and performance enhancement are two terms which are fundamentally related to one another for both the recreational climber and also any athlete for that matter. Injury prevention or risk reduction if undertaken successfully by the coach, parent or climber or athlete for that matter will lead to many years of successful athletic performance without time away from their chosen sport. Despite recent advances in surgical techniques for knee injury, our understanding of biomechanics and physiology, the re-injury rate for injuries such as anterior cruciate ligament injury remains high and performance deficits persist long after rehabilitation. Many people may continue to display deficits in strength, postural control, muscular activation, postural stability, mental robustness and movement mechanics. Mental robustness in the main is related to the rigour of the reconditioning or rehabilitation programme and injury prevention strategies that the athlete has been involved in. Injury can affect joint stability as can disuse. The neuromuscular control mechanisms can be affected by joint injury. The resulting changes can cause reduced perceptual awareness and control of the lower limb. This forces the athlete to rely upon visual feedback and increase conscious control to regulate the control of the limb. In this video, I display aberrant movement patterns during a lunge activity. This is a functional task used in many sports, such as climbing and also team sports. This is a movement control problem causing increased knee valgus alignment and an increased hip medial rotation moment. This position or movement pattern can be career ending for many athletes and recreational exercises because it is statistically associated with an increased risk for anterior cruciate ligament injury and also anterior cruciate ligament re-injury. In the remaining part of the video, I demonstrate optimal knee, hip and spinal alignment. There is no side to side deviation at the spine and the knee is aligned over the foot as is the hip for that matter. These neuromuscular retraining drills are important for the athlete wishing to improve their neuromuscular control to reduce injury risk and also for the patient recovering from a knee injury. The exercises here are simple limb loading activity with a band attached to the femur and pulled tight to challenge the stability and neuromuscular control mechanisms in the knee, hip and spine to control postural support. The stability challenge is increased by standing on a mildly unstable surface such as a soft mat. Thank you for listening. If you'd like more information about the work we do with climbers and other athletes in injury prevention or reconditioning, or you'd like to find out more about our online strength and conditioning packages, then please visit our website at www.insideedgephysio.com or you'll find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or you can sign up for our injury prevention updates at the website. Again, www.insideedgephysio.com. The information contained in this video is not medical advice and should not be treated as such. It should be used for information purposes only. You should seek advice from a physiotherapist before embarking on a new exercise program. Yeah.